Welcome in to WRMG TV 12, TV 97's coverage of Tishomingo County Braves basketball. Tonight, the Braves will be taking on the Indians from Etiwamba Agricultural High School. Steve Bates along with Scott Webster. Welcome in to Braves basketball. Spark CPA firm bringing you tonight's game. They have six locations to serve you. Red Bay, Iuka, Muscle Shoals, Florence, Boonville, and Corinth. They do free electronic filing of all your income tax returns, individual and business. Also monthly bookkeeping, payroll and sales tax services at the Sparks CPA firm. D&D Equipment, D&D Rental of Iuka, red small construction equipment, have a wide variety of hand tools. Open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. at 493 County Road 169 in Iuka. Call them at 662-423-8283, the number for you at D&D &D Equipment. Daly's Body Shop and Towing, James Daly at 15 Yellow Creek Avenue. Call James Daly at 662-427-9234. We can make your car, truck, and SUV look new again. Good luck to the Braves from Daly's Body Shop. Saw Mr. James down here a few minutes ago as we came in, had a talk with him. Tishomingo County Electric Power Association, like to remind you they're a member of TVA's e-program. TVA can come in and do an energy audit of your home. If you'd like more information, call them during normal business hours at 423-3646. Also, Gina McNatt bringing you tonight's game, your Tishomingo County tax collector. Good luck to all our Tishomingo County teams. Your hometown pizza in Iuka, located at 621 Battleground Drive. Regina and James Smith are your owners. Pizza, pasta, cheese sticks, wings, they have your hoagies. Now offering that crustless pizza for those dieters who don't like much bread. They also have a 20 inch party pizza for you as well at Hometown Pizza. Call them at 662-593-3036. Ayuka Discount Drugs making her game possible here this evening. Pharmacy, drive-in window. They have your medication synchronization for you as well. Your pharmacists are Chris Cornelison, Kurt Butler, and Lee Griffin at Ayuka Discount Drugs. Their phone number is 662-423-9039. Donald Ray Thomas, your South End Constable for Tishomingo County on our broadcast. I want to remind you, if he can be assistance to you and your family, don't hesitate to give him a call. Donald Ray Thomas, your constable for the south end of Tishomingo County. Two games for you tonight. We'll start it off with Varsity Girls. That'll be followed by Varsity Boys here from Tishomingo County High School. Northeast Mississippi Community College is moving forward with technology in the classroom with a health and fitness initiative. They have an honors college and student success center at Northeast with workforce training and a commitment to excellence in athletics, a four-day instructional week featuring online, short-term, and hybrid classes. They're all at affordable cost. Take your next steps. With Northeast Community College, you can call them toll-free at 800-555-2154. Visit them on the World Wide Web at www.nemcc.e. DU. Peyton Cummings, your Tishomingo County Chantry Clerk, are open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Their desire is to serve you. They thank you for your support. Iuka Animal Clinic, Dr. James Perkins, Highway 25 South. Healthcare, grooming, boarding. They're open Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. On Thursdays from 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. Give them a call at 662-423-3470. They also have an emergency phone call number for you. For after hours, it's 256-740-4800. The IUCO Animal Clinic, Dr. James Perkins. David Wayne Crum, he's your Tishomingo County tax assessor. He thanks you for your support in the election. He wishes all the Tishomingo County teams good luck. Gatlin's Pharmacy, if you're spending too much out of your pocket, if you're in a donut hole, if you priced your prescriptions at another store, go by and see them. They have other options to save you money at Gatlin's Pharmacy. Their pharmacist, Stanley Page. Your Health Mart Pharmacy, located downtown Tishomingo, 662-438-6605.
Also MTS, formerly Mississippi Tool Supply, safety apparel, vests, t-shirts, safety glasses, have your earplugs. They're made and sold in Belmont, custom signs and decals and banners. They've been in business for over 40 years at MTS. Call them toll free at 800-647-8168 or stop by and let them know what you need at MTS. State Farm Insurance Agent Boyce Hollingsworth. Boyce is located at 214 East Quitman Street in Iuka. Full service insurance for your auto, home, life, health, retirement. Come see Boyce Hollingsworth, your State Farm agent for all your insurance needs. 662-423-5931. That number once again, 662-423-5931. Also, B&J Supermarket, Highway 365 South in Burnsville. They're open seven days a week. Their hometown store where prices are low 52 weeks a year. At B&J Supermarket, you'll find fresh produce and also meat and dairy department. They accept Visa, MasterCard, and EBT food stamps. Highway 365 South in Burnsville, it's B&J Supermarket. Josh McNatt wants to thank everyone for the support you gave him in the election. He is your new circuit court clerk for Tishomingo County and wishes all the teams well. Triple D's Bucket Service, Barney, Brandon, Dusta, Dick, they will try their best to meet all your high reach needs, whether it's trimming or removing a tree, debris removal, stump grinding, cleaning a steeple. It is done in a professional manner at Triple D's. They're licensed, bunted, and insured. Call them at 662-279. 7,500. Also, the Iuka Monument Company next to Iuka Discount Drugs, the highest quality at a reasonable price. Call Iuka Monument Company at 662-423-3203. Also, Mac Wildman, your Tishomingo County corner. Good luck to all the Tishomingo County teams. Nunley Trunking Company, Herman and Daryl Nunley and the staff bring you tonight's game. Phone number at Nunley Trunking Company, 662-424-0080. Burnsville Tire, Ethan Morris at 246 Highway 72 West in Burnsville, home of the free mounting and balancing with the purchase of any tire. They have the home of the lifetime rotations with the purchase of four tires. Home of certified advanced alignment, front end technicians get the home court advantage. They do tires, wheels, alignments, exhaust, towing, road service, brakes, shocks, and more for you at Burnsville Tire. Call Ethan Morris, 662 427 9308. Don't forget you can get a copy of tonight's game. It is available on DVD. Contact Jack and Denise Ivy at 454 9797. Milligan Ready Mix, located Old 25 North in Iuka. Go by and see them for your mulch, landscaping rock, curb stops, pet monument, stepping stones, military stones. Have your splash blocks. Best wishes to our Tishomingo County teams from Milligan Ready Mix, located Old 25 North in Iuka. Harwell Parts and Supply, your CarQuest dealer at 1102 West Quitman Street in Iuka. They're open Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. They're open on Saturday for you from 7 a.m. to 12 noon. Go by and let Chad and the staff take care of all your parts and supply needs at Harwell Parts and Supply. Give them a call at 662-423-9892. Tiffin Motor Homes, Red Bay, Iuka, and Belmont featuring Allegro Homes. Wishing our local teams good luck. Your hometown pizza in Burnsville at 343 Highway 72 East in the Burnsville Shopping Plaza. Home on an operated pizza, pasta, cheese sticks, wings, hoagies. They have a great salad bar for you. They're open 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Monday through Friday, lunch buffet from 11 to 1 is $8. Sunday buffet from 11 to 2 is $9. Buffet includes pizza, pasta, salad, and a drink. You can dine in or carry out. Give them a call at 662-360-4019. Regina and James Smith will be looking for you your hometown pizza in Burnsville. Moments away, we'll have the starting lineups coming up for you for the Tishomingo County Lady Braves and the Etiwamba Lady Indians. Sport Equation in Belmont, your home for bargains. Mike Stockton, your president. Jada Pitts is your manager. 
You'll find mattresses the lowest price around, bedroom, living room, furniture, tools, coochie, pillows, and much more. Take Highway 25 south to Dickinson Road across from the Tiffin's entrance in Belmont. It's Explore Liquidation. Piggly Wiggly of Iuka, lowest prices, hometown friendly service. Other locations for you as well in Red Bay, Alabama, and in Belmont. And now we'll turn it over to public address announcer for tonight's starting lineups. And now with the start lineup for our Houston Lady Indians. Number 12, Ella Shumper. Number 15, Zakaya Adams. Number 11, Narisha Mallory. Number 24, Janice Dow. And number 30, Kendra Black. Coaches this man of order. lineups for the Lady Braves and the Lady Indians of Tishomingo County. So Garland, Powers, Nunley, Holly, and Bennett, that's your starting five for Tishomingo County. Mallory, Shumpert, Adams, Dabbs, and Blackman for the Lady Indians of Etiwamba. Be 
official steps in, ball in the air, and the Lady Braves will control the tip. Nunley working it right side, passes it in. Shot from the right side off the glass, good by Katie Powers, and Tishomingo County takes a two to nothing lead. Press put on, still on the inbound, put up, no good. Missed under there by the Lady Braves, Campbell Holly. Here comes Etiwamba down the floor now with the basketball. And now we're going to have a turnover by Etiwamba. Della Schumpert handling the ball that time on the turnover for the Lady Indians. They'll pass it inside, up no good by Garland. Rebound goes to Etiwamba. Here comes the Lady Indians. Schumpert double teamed and she steps out of bounds and another turnover by Etiwamba. Grace Loan Real Estate of Iuka, let us help you sell your home at Grace Loan Real Estate, 423-5555. Here's a three from the right wing, good. <laughs> Nunley with the three. Here's another shot on the steal by Bennett and the Braves have opened up a quick 7-0 lead. Pressure by the Lady Braves. Etiwamba almost lost it out of bounds. And now loose on the floor, and Etiwamba wants a timeout. Lady Indians having trouble with the pressure here by the Lady Braves and the coach for Etiwamba. Coach Anna Porter calls the timeout. So 6.34 to go in the opening period. Lady Brave seven, Lady Indians zero. H&R Blanc, Iuka, Red Bay, and Fulton. They are your tax professionals. Don't forget Sid Whitehurst, Sid's Trading Company. They got your Bush Hog Zero Turn Moors. Don't forget now they're dependable, solid. They're offered in a state and commercial and professional series. Go out to Sid's. Check those Bush Hogs out. Sid's Trading Company, I went 25 south at Iuka. I'll Sid Whitehurst, 424-0025. See if Etiwamba made some adjustments here to handle the pressure by the Lady Brave Shumpert. And the ball knocked out of bounds by the Lady Braves Campbell Holly. So Etiwamba now will throw it back in. And a steal. And put back up, no good. Rebound goes to Etiwamba as Dobbs got the rebound. Dobbs double team now and almost stepped out of bounds. Now the Lady Indians will work it down the floor. Pass on the inside. We're going to have a foul on the Lady Braves. Number five, Bennett will pick up the foul for Tishomingo County. Now, Risha Mallory will go to the free throw stripe for the Lady Indians. 7-0 Braves, 6-11 here in the opening period. So Mallory with her free throw on the way, no good. And now on that free throw is no good. Lane violation against Etiwamba. So the Lady Braves will throw it in. They'll go inside trying to get it to Garland. And now we're going to have a walk. By Etiwamba, number 15, that's Adams. Got the ball, but tripped and fell and walked with the basketball. Shot for the right corner up, no good. As Campbell Holly couldn't get it to go. It goes out of bounds. It'll be Tishomingo County for his basketball. The Lady Braves on the inbound. Shot up, no good. Powers couldn't get it to go. Here's Etta Wamba now with the basketball. Across the timeline, they go right wing with it. 
right corner for the baseline. Shumpert comes back out. Now they'll come back to Shumpert. She'll take the three in and out. No good. And the rebound goes to Tishomingo County and a foul on Etiwamba. Kendra Blackman will pick up that foul. Her first, Etiwamba's first of the half. 7-0 Lady Braves, 5-17 to go opening period. Pull-up shot from the right side is no good by Bennett. It'll go out of bounds. That one last touched by Etiwamba's Arisha Mallory. So Nunley is going to throw it in now. So Lady Braves, three from the left wing. Good! Nunley with her second three of the ball game. So a foul on the floor. Foul going against Blackman. Her correction, that one going against uh, Tishomingo County's Katie Powers. Two fouls in the half on Lady Braves, one on Etiwamba. And a steal by the Lady Braves. Nunley lobs it inside. They'll kick it back out. In the lane and a foul on Etiwamba. Blackman will pick up the foul for the Lady Indians. And that's going to send Nunley to the free throw line. She's got six in the game of the Lady Braves. Ten, this will be the first time tonight for the free throw line for the Lady Braves. Free throw by Nunley up, and it is good. Nice game brought to you by Ronnie Cook and Modern Woodman of America to plan for your financial future and learn about member benefits. Get to know your modern Woodman representative. Give Ronnie Cook a call at 662-423-8477. Next one by Nunley up. This one good as well. So 11, a 12 to nothing lead now for the Lady Braves. To the basket, that one blocked by Garland. It goes out of bounds at side court. Lady Braves, Clara Garland, a sophomore, six foot four. And a steal. And the easy layup. It is good by Adams. And Etiwamba gets on the board with 408 left here in the first period. 12 to 2 lead for Tishomingo County. Lady Braves right down the lane. And now we're going to have a foul. 24, pick up the foul for Etiwamba. That's going to be Dobbs. Third team foul of the half for Etiwamba, and that'll be Dobbs' first foul of the ball game. Madison Bennett with two points in the game. Her first free throw up and no good. Next one by Dobbs up. This one in and out, no good. Etiwamba gets the rebound. And it's going to go out of bounds. Last touched by Katie Powers of Tishomingo County. Shumpert walks with the basketball, trying to get it down the court. Bunch of early turnovers here in the first period for Etiwamba. So Nunley will inbound for the Lady Braves. Gets it in number 30, that's Powers. Powers back over to the right wing. And number 20, Nunley walks with the basketball. Dobbs will get it in. Shumpert, and another turnover. It's going to go out of bounds. Last touch by 
to Shemingo County as it went out of bounds at side court. So Dobbs gets it in to Adams. Adams, Redawamba, and they'll work it down the floor. Dobbs, right baseline, no good. Garland, number 30 with a basketball. That's Powers, long pass down, knocked out of bounds by Etiwamba's Adams. Tishmingo County Electric Power Association for your tonight's game. Don't forget now they offer rebates on hot water heaters from gas to electric and electric to electric. Call them during normal business hours, 423-3646. In the lane, Garland misses the shot, and Etiwamba gets the rebound. Shoppert with a three from the right wing won't go. Lady Braves get the rebound. Driving it in the lane, puts it up no good by Nunley. We got a whistle as Nunley. And number 11, Narisha Mallory collide in the lane. And they'll get Mallory with her first foul for Edwamba. Edwamba's fourth of the half and Nunley back at the free throw line for the Lady Braves. Free throw up and no good. Nunley with eight in the game. Next free throw up. This one good. He's three out of four now from the line for the Lady Braves. 13 to two, Tishomingo County. 2.53 to go in the opening period. And a blocking foul on the Lady Braves as Shumpert was working it down the floor. Floyd picking up the foul for the Lady Braves. So Etiwamba, pull up shot on the way, no good by Dobbs. Here's Shumpert with a three, no good. And Etiwamba gets the rebound. Mallory to Shumpert. Shumpert has her shot blocked. If you go in the lane against Garland, you better put a bunch of arch on it because I guarantee you it's six foot four, it's coming back at you. So Ed Awamba now will throw it in. Charge that foul to Briley Hill. Now uh, Lady Braves with a steal from Etiwamba. Missed the layup. Now they're going to call a jump on the rebound. Possession error goes to Etiwamba. D&D Equipment and D&D Rentals by Iuka. Open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5 at 493 County Road, 169 in Iuka. Small construction equipment and a wide variety of hand tools at D&D Equipment and D&D Rental by Iuka. Here's a shot, no good. That one missed by Adams, Lady Braves with a rebound. 13 to two, Tishomingo County, right down the lane, lays it up, good. That's Briley Hill getting first points of the ball game for the Lady Braves. Tried to get it to Shumpert. Threw it over her head out of bounds, and it is Lady Braves basketball. <laughs> Katie Powers hands it off to number five. That's Bennett. Bennett dishes it off. The layup no good by Brown. Shumpert with a three from the right wing, good. 15 to five, Lady Braves in the closing moments of this first period with 53 seconds to go. 
Right down the lane, a little floater up, no good. Follow up under there, no good. Second effort, no good. And who's going to get this one? Lady Braves does. They'll kick it back out. Bennett with the corner. Shot is good by Jayla Brown. 17 to 5 with 24 seconds. Lady Braves with the lead. Ball loose on the floor. They'll scramble for it. And they're going to call the jump. And the Lady Braves will get the possession arrow. Trying to go inside, they'll throw it out of bounds. They're trying to get it to Jayla Brown. So it'll be Edawamba basketball with 11.6 seconds. Daly's Body Shop and Towing. James Daly bringing you tonight's game, 15 Yellow Creek Avenue. Call James Daly at 662-427-9234. Make your car, truck, and SUV look like new again. Good luck to the Braves. Daly's Body Shop and Towing. And another foul on the floor here. 6.3 seconds. Lady Braves picking up that foul. They charged Bennett with that foul. And the shot no good at the buzzer. And at the end of the first period in girls action, Tishomingo County 17 at a one by five. Spark CPA firm, they have six locations to serve you. Red Bay, Alabama, Iuka, Muscle Shoals, Florence, Boonville, and Corinth. Payroll processing, trucker fuel reports, permits, IFTAs, audit, review and compilation services that do retirement planning, tax and planning, and consulting for you as well at the Spark CPA firm. Hometown Pizza and Iuke at 621 Battleground Drive. Regina and James Smith, they have your pizza, pasta, cheese sticks, wings, and hoagies. They got your crustless pizza. They have that big 20-inch party pizza for you as well. They're open Saturday through Wednesday, 3 to 9. Thursday and Friday, 11 to 9. Closed on Mondays at your hometown pizza. Carry out only. Give them a call at 662-593-3036. Home owned, home operated. It's your hometown pizza. Second period action underway. They'll throw it away. They've tried to work it in to Mallory. Here comes your Lady Braves. Right down the lane. We've got a whistle and a foul on Etiwamba, and it, the Lady Braves will go to the free throw strike. Katie Powers at the free throw line. Mallory picking up her second foul of the ball game for Etiwamba. Powers free throw, no good. Katie Powers with two points in the ballgame. Both teams now with five fouls in the half. And now the next one, the Powers up. This one no good as well. Ed Womba gets the rebound. Adams with it. Now they'll pass it off, go back to Adams. Back to number 24, that's Dobbs. Dobbs in the lane, puts up a floater, no good. The Lady Braves, Powers gets the rebound. Powers, number 20 now, that's Nunley from the left side, shot no good. Shumpert got the rebound, now jump, and I believe the possession arrow is going to go to the Lady Braves. So Nunley now will throw it in. Nunley gets it into Powers, Powers right down the lane, puts it up, in and out, no good. Rebound goes to Edawama's Adams. It's Adams double team. Gets it to Dobbs. Dobbs almost had it stolen away. Now back. They'll go to Shumpert. Shumpert driving the right baseline. Puts it up in and out. No good. And the ball will go to number 20 for the Lady Braves. That's Nunley. Now Powers with a basketball. Goes back top of the key to Nunley. Nunley with a long three. Good. Nunley's third three of the game. 
He's got 12 in the ball game. Wide open. They'll put it up under there. It's good. By Edelman was number 22. That's Kaylee Owens. So a 20 to 7 lead for your Lady Braves. In the second period with 6.28 to go. Powers back out to the top of the key. Now they'll go back. Shot is up. Good. 25. Jayla Brown with her fourth point of the ball game for the Lady Braves. Dobbs bringing it across the timeline. Dobbs right down the lane. Puts it up off the glass. No good. She's fouled. So Dobbs looking for her first points of the game. will go to the free throw strike for Itawamba. Second foul of the ball game for Briley Hill of Tishomingo County. Dabs eyes the basket, puts it up, no good. Gina McNatcher, Tishomingo County tax collector, wishing all the Tishomingo County teams good luck. One more free throw coming up for Dabs now. Eyes the basket, puts the ball up, and this one good. 22 to 8. Lady Braves with a lead. Powers with the basketball back across the way to Nunley. She'll put up the three. It is no good. And the rebound goes to Adams of Etiwamba. Adams double teamed. Turns it over, threw it right to Powers. Powers will just put it up in the lane. No good. Powers got the rebound. She'll go right back again. She's fouled by Aubrey Lambert of Etiwamba. Her first to the ball game, team six of the half. Both teams with six fouls now in the half. Katie Powers 0 out of two from the line, two points in the ball game. Free throw up, and it is good. One more free throw now for Powers. Katie eyes the basket, puts it in and out, no good. Ball loose to the floor, and a woman got it. Warren puts it up, no good, and the rebound went to Floyd on Tishomingo County. Powers right down the lane, puts it up, no good. And the rebound went to Etiwamba, and now over the back foul against Katie Powers. Twenty-three to eight, Tishomingo County. Powers with her second foul of the ball game. It's going to be Warren at the free throw line. Free throw up and good. She'll have one more now for the Lady Indian. Powers will check out of the game for Tishomingo County. They'll check Briley Hill in the ball game. So Warren's next free throw, it is no good. Garland got the rebound. Nunley over to Campbell. Campbell Holly, now Nunley walks for the basketball. And Etiwamba turns it over, trying to pass it down the court. Campbell Holly gets it in. Number 21, that's Floyd. Floyd back out to 24, Hill. Hill. Finds Nunley, Nunley dishes it off to Garland, it's good. <laughs> Quickly back down the floor, Etiwamba double teamed. And the lane shot is no good by Dobbs. Long pass down, trying to get it to, we're gonna have a walk. 
Campbell Holly came up with the basketball. They was trying to get it to Nunley. Nunley couldn't get to it. So a 25 to nine lead now for your Lady Break. And another turnover by Itawamba. Good move, and we're going to have a foul on Etiwamba. That's going to send Hill to the free throw line, her first trip to the free throw stripe tonight. She's got two points in the ball game for the Lady Braves. Lady Braves lead it 25 to 9, four minutes left here in this first half of action. Free throw is up and good. Next free throw up, it is no good. Ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Etiwamba. So Lady Braves get it in, blocked. Here comes the Lady Indian Shumpert's gonna be fouled. So she'll go to the free throw strike. They're going to call that foul, I believe, on Nunley of Tishomingo County. That'll be her first of the ball game. Shumper's free throw in and out, no good. And the next one by Schumper, this one in and out, no good. It'll go out of bounds. And a foul on the rebound, so we're going to walk to the other end. Garland will be at the free throw stripe for Tishomingo County. Third foul of the ball game, charged to number 33. Audra Parks. Garland's free throw good. Clara Garland now with three in the game. Next free throw is up. It's good as well. So a 28 to nine lead. Dobbs right down the lane, puts it up off the glass. No good, Garland got the rebound. Nunley now with the basketball across the timeline and a reach in foul on Etiwamba as number five will pick up the foul. That's Tonya Warren. A one and one now for Nunley, the ninth team foul of the half against Etiwamba. Next free throw good by Nunley. She's now four out of five from the line. Next one on the way, make it five out of six. Chomper double team gets it to Dobbs. They'll get it to number 15. That's Adams, and we got a whistle on the floor. So they'll get number 21. That's Floyd picking up the foul. Looks like they're going to be a lot of free throws here in this remaining 333 of the first half. Free throw no good. Lady Braves get the rebound. Hill is going to go out of bounds. Tried to get it to Floyd, and it'll be Etiwamba basketball side court. You could discount drugs, pharmacy, drive in window, medication synchronization. Your pharmacist, Chris Cornelison, Kurt Butler, and Lee Griffin. Call them. 423-9039 at Iuka Discount Drug. The ball goes out of bounds and another turnover by Etiwamba. Nunley into Ashley Booker. Back to Nunley. 
Comes to the corner. Now they'll come back out to the top of the key. Now back to the corner. Lob it inside to Garland. Garland has it stripped loose and stolen away. So Etiwamba pass it off in the lane, trying, and it was stolen away. Pass down to Garland. Good. And she's going to be fouled. So Garland picking up her sixth point of the game, looking to make it a three-point play at the free throw strike. Garland's free throw, no good. Now we got a whistle and stop of action. Discussion. Garland made the basket. Now they're going to call a jump. And now a possession arrow going to Etiwamba. I don't know. Gets it into Shumpert. Back to Dobbs. Dobbs long pass down. We got 2:35 left here before half. Shot blocked by Garland. Like I said earlier, if you're going to shoot it in the lane over Garland, you're going to have to put some arch on it. You can't just lob it up there because she's six foot four. It's it's going to come back right at you. Lady Braves will shoot two free throws, second foul of the ball game for Dobbs of Etiwamba. Hill will take the free throw. It is no good. Riley Hill with three in the game, one out of three from the free throw line, and we've got a timeout by Etiwamba. So a 2.30 left here in the second period. Your Lady Braves 32 at a woman nine. Donald Ray Thomas, your constable for the south end of Tishomingo County. If he be assistance, you and your family don't hesitate to give him a call. Northeast Mississippi Community College moving forward. Technology in the classroom, health and fitness initiative, honors college and student success center, four day instructional week. Call them toll free at Northeast at 800-555-2154. So Briley Hill with another free throw now. That one good. Makes it 33 to nine. Shot on the way, no good. By Tanya Warren, Etiwamba got the rebound. Shumpert with it now. Shumpert. Better get rid of it, I almost got that call. Downs will take a shot from the left side, it won't go. So the Lady Braves get the rebound. Booker got the rebound. Booker now with the ball. Is it to Nunley? Nunley goes to the corner, and as she went to the corner, Campbell Holly was making a cut from the baseline to the basket, and it went out of bounds. So the Lady Indians will throw it in now. And the official having a word with some players down here, not really sure what's going on, but uh, discussion's over with now.
Shot for the free throw line, no good by Warren. Lady Braves with a rebound with a minute 50 now. Lobbed it inside to Garland. Garland lost it out of bounds, but it was last touched by Etiwamba. Lady Braves gets it in. Nunley will try three. It's good. It's going to be the fourth three of the ball game for Nunley. Shot no good by Etiwamba. Lady Braves now with a basketball with a minute 24. Lobs it inside to Garland. This is going to go out of bounds. Last touched by Schumpert of Etiwamba. Gets it in. Hill almost lost it, gets it back, comes to the top of Keaton Nunley, goes over to Campbell Holly. She takes the three. It's good. So 53 seconds left now. Here's a shot for the right side. No good by number 25, Emma Hutton of Etiwamba. Out of bounds. Shumpert will throw it in now for the Lady Indian. Correction, number 15, that's Adams. They throw it away, and the layup is good on the other end by Briley Hill. Shumpert on the right side, no good. Nunley with a rebound across the timeline with 32 seconds, drives it down the lane, finds Garland. She's hammered under there. She'll go to the line to shoot two. And they're going to charge that foul. Etta Wombas number 30, Kendra Blackman. And that, not mistaken, maybe he has her third foul of the ball game. Clara Garland with six in the game. Back at the free throw stripe for the Lady Braves. It is up, and it, it is no good. Free throw by Garland up. It is no good. Ball loose from the floor. Etiwamba had it. Garland got it. Passes it off under there. No good. And the follow up, no good. And now a foul against Etiwamba, number 11, Risha Mallory. Risha Mallory picking up her third foul. And Brianna Lowry of the Lady Braves at the free throw stripe. It is up, no good. The next free throw up, it is good. So Brianna Lowry of the Lady Braves hits one out of two. 42 to nine, Tisha Mingo County. Down to eight seconds. Shot on the way, blocked by the Lady Braves. Lowry had it off the foot of Lowry, and that's gonna be all of the first half. At the end of the first half, your Tisha Mingo County Lady Braves 42, and the Etiwamba Lady Indians nine. This is WRMG TV 12. TV 97. Third period action about ready to go from Tishomingo County High School. The Lady Braves with a 42 to 9 lead over the Itawamba Lady Indians. Boys action will follow this girls game. Lady Braves will get the basketball as the third period gets underway. Shot from the left side, no good but Nunley. Rebound goes to Daubs, long pass down, wide open. Missed the layup, goes out of bounds. 
Arisha Mallory missed a wide open layup for Etiwamba. So Lady Braves now with the basketball. Powers lobs it inside to Garland. Garland up with it, missed it. And it'll go out of bounds. They tried to get it back to Narisha Mallory under the basket. So it goes back to the Lady Braves. Peyton Cummings, your Tisha Mango County Chancery Clerk, open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, Marina tonight's game. Uh, Yuka Animal Clinic with Dr. James Perkins, Highway 25 South. Healthcare, grooming, and boarding. They're open Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, 7 to 5. Thursday, 7 to 1. Call them 662-423-3470 at the Iuka Animal Clinic. Nunley back to Garland, top of the key. Garland gets it over to number five. That's Bennett. Bennett back to Nunley. Nunley puts it up for the right side off the glass. No good. Rebound went to the Lady Braves. Put back up. No good by Bennett. And here comes Etiwamba now. So Warren in the lane puts the floater up. Good. Warren with her third point of the ball game for Etiwamba. It's now 42 to 11, Lady Braves. So Bennett gets it to Campbell Holly. Comes to Nunley. Nunley, top of the key, gets it to Powers. Powers drives it in the lane, puts it up. She is fouled. They're going to say foul on the floor before the shot. Gets it in on the inbound. Now a whistle and another foul. This time, Lady Braves will go to the line. Campbell Holly will be shooting two free throws. First trip to the line for Campbell Holly. She's got three in the game for the Lady Braves. Free throw is up, and it is good. So one more free throw. Campbell Holly hits both of those free throws for Tishomingo County. 44 to 11 now, Lady Braves. David Wayne Crum, your Tishomingo County tax assessor, thanks you for your support. Shot missed by Shumpert. Lady Braves had it, now loose to the floor again. As it went out of bounds, it's going to go to Etiwamba's side court. Hutton throws it in. Shumpert will take the three, he won't go. Katie Powers with the rebound, ball loose to the floor. Who's got this one? Etiwamba does. Shumpert goes up with it. Good. Shumpert with her fifth point of the ball game. Powers, left wing, lobs the right side. And now we've got a foul on the floor. Going to get Etiwamba's Tanya Warren with that foul. 6.02 to go here in the third period. 44-13. Lady Braves with the lead. So Nunley looking to get it in on the inbound. Does so to Powers. Comes back to the right side. Campbell Holly loses it out of bounds. So we got a timeout on the floor with six minutes left here in the third period. Is the Lady Braves 44, Etiwamba Lady Indians 13. Gatlin's Pharmacy, if you're spending too much out of your pocket, if you're in a donut hole, if you priced your prescriptions at another store, go by and see them. Stanley Page, your pharmacist. Gatlin's Pharmacy, your Health Mart Pharmacy in downtown Tishomingo. Call them at 662-438-6605. Tanya Warren, well inbound for Etiwamba, gets it in to Shumpert. Gets it back to Warren. Warren working it left side of the corner. Now they'll throw it, trying to get it inside, threw it right to Lady Braves Garland here on the other end now. Campbell Holly trying to get it to Nunley, and we're going to have over and back.
So Warren will throw it in now for Etiwama. Shumpert comes over to Adams. Now they get it over to 25. That's Hutton. Now they'll get it back to Shumpert. Shumpert back to Hutton. Three from the right side. Good by Hutton. Emma Hutton with her first points of the ball game for Etiwamba. 44-16 now, Lady Braves. Nunley with the basketball. Nunley falls down, gets it. And we're going to have a foul on the Lady Braves. I think they're going to get Madison Bennett with that one. See who they put on the board. Offensive foul. Third foul of the half against the Lady Braves. Waiting for a number to go up here. Change that one foul. Yeah, that is the third foul of the ball game for Madison Bennett. Ball goes out of bounds. It'll go back to the Lady Braves. So Katie Powers. Throws it in to Bennett. Bennett back to Powers. Working it on the left side. Comes back to Nunley. Three from the right wing. Won't go. Rebound goes to Etiwamba. Long pass down. Threw it away. Right to Bennett of the Lady Braves. Bennett across the timeline. Bennett loses it. Ball loose to the floor. And Shumpert's got it for the Lady Indians. Shumpert across the timeline. Finds number 15 now with the basketball. Adams pass over there. They throw it away. Tried to get it to Warren. Lady Braves now. Nunley's going to be fouled from behind by number 15. That's Adams of Etiwamba. Nunley at the free throw line now for Tishomingo County. Free throw is up and it is good. She's now six out of seven from the free throw line tonight. Make it six out of eight. And they call a jump, I do believe. And it's going to be Lady Braves basketball. Nunley now will get it in, lobs it in. Wide open in the lane, missed the shot. Campbell Holly couldn't get it to go. Here comes that woman now. And a steal. And a foul on Etiwamba, number five. That's Warren picking up the foul. Madison Bennett to go to the free throw line for Tishomingo County. Now they're going to get Mallory. Mallory with her fourth foul for Etiwamba. That free throw by Bennett, good. The next one up by Bennett is good as well. They're going to get Mallory out of the ball game. Fred Woman, number 24, Dobbs will check in. 47-16, Lady Braves with the lead. We're in the third period with four minutes to go. Shumpert goes to the corner with it. Now they'll come back. Shot on the way, no good by Warren as it goes out of bounds. It's going to be Etiwamba basketball. So on the inbound, shot no good. Rebound goes to Adams. Now kick it back out to Warren. Warren, number 15. Now they'll work it inside to Dabbs. Dabbs. Trying to get over Garland. She double dribbled the basketball. So a turnover. MTS, formerly Mississippi Tool Supply, safety apparel, vests, t shirts. Safety glasses and earplugs made and sold in Belmont. Call them toll free, 800 647 8168. Ball is going to go out of bounds. It's 
It'll go to Etiwamba. 321 left here in the third period. 48-16. Lady Braves. Ball loose on the floor. Here's a three on the way. No good. By Warren. They'll scramble for it. Jump is called. And Etiwamba will maintain possession of the basketball. Chopper gets it in to Dobbs. Dobbs goes up with it. Good. On the other end, Bennett goes up, and Bennett walks with the basketball for the Lady Braves. State Farm Insurance agent Boyce Hollingsworth at 214 East Quitman Street in Iuka. Full service insurance, auto, home, life, health, and retirement. We have Boyce Hollingsworth to call at 423-5931. And Etiwamba throws it away. So Powers over to 21. Now Bennett in the lane, goes up with it, puts it up no good. And the rebound goes to Etiwamba. They lose it out of bounds. And it'll go to Tishomingo County. Adams lost it out of bounds for the Lady Indians. Campbell Holly gets it into Bennett. Bennett back to 21. It is up good. Floyd. Nine Lady Braves in scoring here in the ball game. And number 30 for Etiwamba, that's going to be Kendra Blackman. Going to have to be helped off the floor. So Dobbs is going to throw it in for the Lady Indians. Adams with the basketball back to Dobbs. Now they'll get it to number 20. It's Plunkett. Dobbs taking a shot from the top. No good. Now they'll tie it up. Possession error goes to the Lady Braves. And a minute 55 left here in the third period. We got a jump ball call, and it'll go back to Etiwamba. B&J Supermarket, Highway 365 South in Burnsville, open seven days a week, your hometown store, where prices are low, 52 weeks a year. Fresh produce, also meat and dairy department, B&J Supermarket. Now we got a whistle timeout. Coach Anna Porter and the Lady Indians call the timeout. 138 left here in the third period. Your Lady Braves 50. And it won by 18. Josh Magnat wants to thank everyone for the support you gave him in the election. He is your new circuit court clerk for Tishomingo County and wishes all the teams well. Triple D's Bucket Service, Barney, Brandon, Dustin Dick, try their best to meet all your high reach needs, whether it's trimming or removing a tree, debris removal, stump grinding, or cleaning a steeple. It's all done in a professional manner. They're licensed, bunted, and insured at Triple D's Bucket Service. You can call them 662-279-7500. Dobbs will throw it in now for the Lady Indians. And on the inbound, there's a foul on the Lady Braves. Count the basket for Emma Hutton, her fifth of the ball game. 
And she'll have a free throw. Free throw is up, and it is good. Third foul of the ball game that time charged to Floyd of the Lady Braves. Right down the lane, we've got a collision. And a foul against Etiwamba. That's going to put the Lady Braves in a one and one. Parks picking up the foul. This is going to be two free throws. Free throw up and good. Riley Hill now three out of five from the free throw strike. And the next one on the way. This one is no good. Lady Indians with the rebound. Adams gets it to Dobbs. Dobbs across the timeline. Throws it away. A little collision over here. And now another Lady Indian injured. Number 15. Adams hit the floor hard. Check her out of the ball game. Shumpert with the ball. Passes it off. It is good. To Emma Hutton. Her eighth point of the ball game. Powers now with it for the Lady Braves. Powers right down the lane. Lays it off the glass. No good. Goes back up after the rebound and a foul on Etiwamba. Riley Hill will go back to the free throw line. Free throw by Hill is no good. Next free throw by Riley up, it's good. Now 52-23. Dobbs with the ball. Tried to lob it inside and Nunley comes up with it for the Lady Brave. Gives it to Powers. Powers across the timeline. Goes left side. Now back to Powers. Comes back to Nunley on the right wing. Back across the way. Hill goes up with it. No good. Follow up by Nunley. No good. We've got a whistle and a foul. Nunley will go to the free throw line to shoot two now. One more foul on Etiwamba. And the Lady Braves will be in the double bonus. Free throw good, but Nunley. Charge that foul, second foul of the ball game to Shumpert of Etiwamba. Nunley's next one all the way. This one rolls in good. Out of 23 seconds left here in the third period. Dobbs with the ball now. Dobbs kicks it over. And ball loose. Shumpert got it back. Now looking to get it to somebody. Shumpert throws it up. And now we've got a whistle and a foul under there. Dobbs picking up the foul for Etiwamba. So now we're going to walk to the other end to shoot two free throws with 1.1 second third foul of the ball game for Dobbs of Etiwamba. Free throw up and good. Now 
Next one, Riley Hill on the way. This one, no good. It's going to go out of bounds, and that is going to be all of the third period. At the end of three, the Tishomingo County Lady Braves 55 and the Etiwamba Lady Indians 23. Magwaman, your Tishomingo County corner, making her game possible tonight. Also, Herman and Daryl Nunley and the staff at Nunley Trunking Company. Call them at 662-424-0080. Good luck to our Tishomingo County teams from Nunley Trucking Company. Burnsville Tire, Ethan Marsh, your owner, 246 Highway 72 West in Burnsville. They have a variety of passenger and light truck tires from top brands, including Master Crown, Firestone, Goodyear. They also have all your specialty tires you need to get everything done from the farm, ATV, lawn and garden, or commercial tires for even the toughest vehicles. Give Ethan Morris a call at Burnsville Tire at 662-427-9308. Lady Braves inbounded to start this final eight minutes of the ball game. Powers with it in the corner, driving the baseline. The basket loses it, and Etiwamba now with the basketball. Dobbs passes it down. Shumpert with a three, won't go. It's going to go out of bounds. It'll stay with Etiwamba. Shumpert just does get it into Dabbs. Dabbs shot good. Dabbs with her fifth point of the ball game. Shot all the way, good. Ashley Booker with a two for the Lady Braves. Now 57-25. Ball loose as it goes out of bounds. It'll stay with Etiwamba. Turnover by Etiwamba will give the ball back to Tishomingo County. Bennett down with the basketball. Pull up shot from the right side. It is good. Her sixth point of the ball game. So it's 59-25. Lady Braves with the lead. Now we've got a foul on Tishomingo County. Booker picking up the foul. Her first. Lady Braves third of the half. Shot on the way, no good. By Hutton, they tie it up. And a foul is gonna be called on Etiwamba. So now we're going to walk back to the other end to shoot two free throws. First foul of the ball game, Fred Wamba's Marie Wilson. <clears throat> Lady Braves already in the double bonus, and we got 6.33 left in the game. In and out, no good. Next free throw is no good as well. There's Grayson Reese at the free throw line. Now, Dabbs got the ball for Etiwamba. Goes over to Shumpert. Shumpert gets it to 25. That's Hutton. Now, 
Pass over to Schumpert. Schumpert back to Hutton. She'll try the three. It is no good. Who's going to get the rebound? Reese got it. And now they'll tie it up. And the possession error will go to, I do believe, Etiwombo. Yeah. On the inbound, they'll kick it back out. Shot on the way, good. Count the three for number 25. That's Emma Hutton, that's her second three. In the ball game for the Lady Indians. Turnover. Dobbs, it's good. Carried it coast to coast for the basket. She's now got seven in the game. It's a 59-30 lead for the Lady Braves. A little collision. They're going to call the foul on Etiwamba, number 12. That's Schumpert. So Booker at the free throw line. It is up and it is no good. Next one by Booker. It is no good as well. Dobbs with the ball for Etiwamba. They'll fight for it. Jump ball call. Good job. But Lady Braves. Fifty-nine thirty. Lady Braves with the lead. Five thirty to go in the ball game. Varsity boys action will follow this one. Bennett on the inbound. Gets it to Reese. Reese in the lane, puts it up off the glass. Good. <laughs> Shumpert loses it out of bounds. Last touch by Tishomingo County. Milligan Ready makes on a broadcast. Don't forget now they got your pet monument, stepping stones, your military stones, the Mississippi, Alabama, and Tennessee stones as well. Curb stops. Call them at 423-6238. Timeout on the floor. 510 to go in girls action. It's the Lady Brave 61. And the Itawamba Lady Indians 30. Harwell Parts and Supply, your CarQuest dealer at 1102 West Crippman Street in Iuka. Open Monday through Friday, 7 to 5, Saturday, 7 to 12. Go by and let Chad and the staff take care of all your parts and supply needs at Harwell Parts and Supply, Jumper now with the ball, right wing. Lobs it inside, Reese waiting on it. Tried to get it to Dobbs, but Reese now goes all the way, puts it up, no good, she's fouled. Sixty-one to thirty, Lady Braves. Next one up, it is good. So one out of two for Reese. Jumper with the ball for the Lady Indians. Working at the left side, goes to the corner. Shot all the way. It is no good. Garland got the rebound. Ball loose on the floor now. 
I'm going to call the jump. It's going to be Etiwamba basketball. We got 432 left here in girls' action. Boys will follow this one. And a steal as Floyd just took it away. Now we got a foul on Etiwamba. They're going to get number five as Tunya Warren with that foul. So Brianna Lowry will go to the line to shoot two for Tishomingo County. Tiffin Motorhomes, Red Bay, Belmont, and Iuka bring you tonight's game featuring those Allegro homes. Good luck to our local teams from Tiffin Motorhomes. And Warren has fouled out of the ball game for Etiwamba. Free throw up and no good. Next one by Brianna Lowry. This one no good as well. Lady Braves get the rebound. Shot up, no good. Second effort, no good. Shumpert's got the ball. Now we're going to have a foul on the Lady Braves. 21. Floyd will pick up that foul. Missed the shot under there by the Indians. And the layup, good. Lexi Kennedy. 12 players in scoring now tonight for the Lady Braves. And a block by the Lady Braves. Hutton gets it to Shumpert. She'll try the three. It's no good. Lady Braves have got it. Lowry goes over to 21. Floyd, good. The other end, still Booker, and they'll tie it up on the floor, Booker and Shumpert. Possession Arab. Molly Powers throws it in. Number one, that's Ham with the basketball. So these well, the ladies get a little playing time here now. Ball loose on the floor. They're gonna charge number four. That's Kennedy, Lexi Kennedy with that foul. Ball loose on the floor on the inbound. That woman's got it. They'll go up with it. No good. That'll go out of bounds off the leg of number 31. That's Marie Wilson. With three minutes left in girls' action, Lady Braves with the basketball. Powers. Kicks it back out to Kennedy. Kennedy back to Lowry. Lowry in the lane, puts up the shot, won't go. Timeout by Etiwamba. Floor liquidation in Belmont, your home for bargains. Mike Stockton, your president. Jada Pitts, your manager. Fine mattress is the lowest price around. Living room, bedroom, dining room, furniture, tools, cool gel pillows, and much more. Take Highway 25 south to Dickinson Road across from the Tiffin's entrance in Belmont to explore liquidation. Hometown Pizza in Burnsville at 343. I was 72 East in Burnsville Shopping Plaza. 
homeowned and operated. You get to have a great salad bar. You one of those delicious hoagies, pizza, pasta, cheese sticks, and wings. Call them at 662-360-4019. Gets it into Dobbs. Dobbs bringing it down the floor across the timeline. Dobbs all the way with it. Collision. They're going to get the blocking foul. Number 13 for the Lady Braves. That's fair, picking up the foul. Dabs free throw up and no good. Next one by Dobbs up in and out, no good. Rebound goes to the Lady Braves. Number four, that's Kennedy getting that rebound. Kennedy over to Ham. Ham working it right side of the baseline, loses it out of bounds. It'll go to Etiwamba. Shumpert takes the three. It'll go out of bounds over to the Lady Braves. And we've got one minute left in girls action. 66-30 to Shemingo County. And a collision. They're gonna get the blocking foul on the Lady Braves, 13 to pick up the foul. That's fair. Be a one and one for Etiwamba. Shumpert at the line, free throw up, no good. Lady Braves the rebound with 14 seconds left. And they'll lose it out of bounds. Fair bringing it down the floor loses it out of bounds. Shot all the way by Ham at the buzzer, no good. Lady Braves win it 66 to 30, 66 to 30. Your Tishomingo County Lady Braves with the win. Stay tuned, we got boys action. It's coming up next. Boys action about ready to get underway from Tishomingo County High School. We'll be going down to the floor, get the starting lineups here in just a moment. Piggly Wiggly by Yucca, Lois Price's hometown friendly service. Locations in Red Bay and Belmont as well. Your nearby Piggly Wiggly store. Grace Long Real Estate. Let us help you sell your home at Grace Long. 423-5555. H&R Blanca, Yuka, Red Bay and Fulton. Now our starting lineups.
starting lineups for Tishomingo County and Etiwamba. Trey Mitchell, number 20. Justin Gladwell, number 10, number 34. Hunter Buns, number five, Tanner Moss, and number 11, Eli Sanderson, your starting five for Tishomingo County. Hunter Buns will jump it against Komaya Dunn. Official steps in, ball in the air, and the Braves control the tip. Shot blocked, and this one will go out of bounds off of number five, Dunn, so the Braves will maintain possession of the basketball. Hunter Bonds will inbound for Tishomingo County. He'll get it into Glidewell. Now back to Bonds. Bonds over to number 20. That's Mitchell. Mitchell hand the ball. Glidewell over to five. Moss. Now they'll have a steal by Etiwamba as number 30 shells come up with a basketball. Troop goes to the left wing now with the basketball. They'll come back to the top of the key to Shells. Shells goes left side, takes the shot, no good. Bonds gets the rebound for Tishomingo County. Long pass down to Moss. Now back to Bonds. Bonds top of the key. Comes left side. Here's a three on the way. No good by Mitchell. Ed one with the rebound quickly down the floor. And a steal. Good job defensively. Tanner Moss coming up with that basketball. Buns back across the way. Mitchell now top of the key with it. That's number 10, Glidewell. Now he'll have a turnover almost by the Braves. Buns comes up with the basketball. And now we got a whistle on the floor, a foul against Etiwamba. They charge number 10, that's Troop picking up the foul. Here's a shot from the left side, a three-point basket, count it. Nope, they're gonna say an offensive foul here. The basket will count. So they, they charge that foul to Isaac Smith of the Braves. The Braves get the basketball. Isaac Smith of Etiwamba is the one who picked that foul up. So a 3 nothing lead for the Braves. Sid Whitehurst, Sid's trading company. At that second location just past the Tishomingo County High School here. You can check out those Gildy tractors and skag mowers. Missed the shot. Etiwamba did. They get the rebound. Now a whistle and a foul on the floor. That foul will go against Tanner Moss of the Braves. So the Indians now will throw it in. Here's a shot for the outside. It is good by Shells. And it's a 3 2 Braves lead. Bonds, long pass down. Driving it to the basket, missed the layup. Sanderson missed it. Here comes Etiwamba quickly back down the floor. Lobs it inside, kicks it back out. Shells will try a three from the top, won't go. Sanderson got the rebound. Now steal by Etiwamba. 
Pull up in the lane. It is no good. We're going to have over the back foul on that one, but they're going to get our Vesta Troop with that foul. His second foul of the ball game. They're going to check out number 10 for Ed Awamba. That's Troop. He picked up his second quick foul here in the first period. Bowen's going to try a three from the top of the key. It won't go. And Ed Awamba gets the rebound. Shot on the way, no good. Rebound goes to the Braves. Game tonight brought to you by Ronnie Cook and Modern Woodman. They offer financial services and fraternal member benefits to individuals and families serving your community. Give Ronnie Cook a call at 423-8477. And the lane, it is good by Sanderson. And Ed Woman wants a timeout. So with that timeout, we're in the first period with 4.04 to go. The Braves five and the Etiwamba Indians two. The Sparks CPA firm, six locations to serve you in Red Bay, Iuka, Muscle Shoals, Florence, Boonville, and Corinth. Free electronic filing of all your income tax returns, individual and business. They do tax preparation, monthly bookkeeping, payroll and sales tax services at the Sparks CPA firm. Shells with the ball. Shells drives to the basket, loses it. Bonds has got it for the Braves. Bonds pass down to Glidewell. Glidewell goes up with it. Good. So Glidewell. It's a seven to two lead for the Braves. Shot better one, but no good. Uh, got the rebound. Shells kicks it over. Now they'll drive it in the lane. Kick it back to Shells. Shells. Pull-up shot from the left side, won't go. Etiwamba with the rebound, or the Braves with the rebound, 24. Spence Kaufman got the rebound. Libel, working it right side, puts it up, good. Braves now with a 9-2 lead with 2.50 to go here in the opening period. Driving it to the basket, lays it up, no good. Follow-up, no good. Shells has got it. He'll go up with it, good. Deion Shells with his fifth point of the ball game for Etiwamba. A whistle and a foul. Braves going to go to the line to shoot two. Tanner Moss will be at the free throw line. They charge the foul to Kamaya Dunn, his first. That free throw good by Tanner. Next one on the way by Tanner Moss. This one no good. Rebound will go to Etiwamba. And now we've got a foul on the Braves, 24, Spence Kaufman. Oh, they're going to call an offensive foul. Second foul of the ball game. That one going to Dunn again. So the Braves now with a basketball. And a 10-4 lead. What a move under there. Gladwell. With his sixth point of the ball game. And the Wombat working it in the lane, puts it up. Good. Ball loose to the floor, still. 
as the Braves lose it. Shells with a basketball. Shells gets it to number one. That's Wood. Wood in the lane loses it. And now we've got a whistle and a foul. Kaufman picking up his first foul. Braves second of the half. Well, a minute 38 left here in the first period. Braves 12, Etiwaba 6. Shells shot no good, but Etiwaba a rebound under there. Good job on the board by Eli Sanderson. Here comes the Braves. Bonds with it. Bonds kicks it over to 20. That's Mitchell. Mitchell top of the key. To Glavel, the right side, Glavel. Comes back to Bonds, top of the key. Bonds goes right down the lane. It is good, and Etiwamba commits a foul. Bonds looking to make it a three-point play. That free throw good. Charge the foul to Chandler Wood, his first. Etiwamba already with six fouls here in the first half with a minute 12 to go in the first period. Ball knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Tanner Moss of the Braves. Daly's Body Shop and Towing, James Daly at 15 Yellow Creek Avenue, 662-427-9234. Make your car, truck, or SUV look like new again. Call James Daly at Daly's Body Shop and Towing, wishing the Braves good luck. It'll go out of bounds. On the inbound, driving it to the basket, lays it up, Shells missed it. Dilworth with the ball now for the Braves. Dilworth all the way, he's going to be fouled. Count the basket to Dilworth. And Dilworth will go to the stripe, looking to make it a three-point play. Braves lead it 17 to six. Well, 43 seconds left here in the first period. Free throw up, but Dilworth, no good. Sanderson got it, put it back up, no good. Etiwamba loses it out of Browns, and the Braves will maintain possession of the basketball. Bonds looking to get it in. Does so to Sanderson. Sanderson over to Moss. Moss goes to the corner to Glidewell. He'll put the shot up, no good. And Etiwamba gets the rebound. So 28 seconds, here comes the Indians with the basketball. That's Wood. Wood to take the shot from the left side. No good. Bonds got the rebound. And now they'll go to the corner with it. Now back out to Bonds, top of the key with 10 seconds. Bonds all the way, lays it up. Missed the layup. Wood, pass down, ball goes to the Braves as the buzzer ends to end the first period of action. At the end of one, your Tishomingo County Braves 17, the Etiwamba Indians six. d, &D equipment, bring you tonight's game. d, &D rental of Mayuka, red small construction equipment and a wide variety of hand tools. Their hours are Monday through Friday, 8 to 5 at 493 County Road 169 in Iuka. Call them at 662-423-8283. Your Tishomingo County Electric Power Association. Remind you're a member of TVA's e-program. TVA can come in and do an energy audit of your home. Call them during normal business hours for more information at 423-3646.
Second period action underway. Shells with a basketball. Comes back out to number 12. They'll work it right side now to Wood. Gets it inside. Now we've got a foul on the Braves. Dilworth picking up the foul, his first, Braves third of the half. According to the clock, Braves are already in the bonus. There's a foul on the Braves, going to send Ed Wamba to the line, number 12, Caden Prestige. We'll go to the free throw strike for the Indians. Free throw is good by Prestige. Gina McNatch, your Tishomingo County tax collector, making her game possible here tonight. Next one by Prestige up. It is no good. Sanderson got the rebound. So Bonds with the basketball gets it to Sanderson, goes to the corner with it. And Bonds tried to knock it back in. Indians down by 10 here. Ball went out of bounds. I believe Etiwamba is going to maintain possession of the basketball. Driving it down the lane, puts it up no good. By Daquan Waters. Etiwamba, the rebound, puts it up. No good by Prestige. It'll go out of bounds. We got a whistle now. at the free throw line. That's Ben Orr, free throw, no good. Next free throw by Ben Orr, good. It's a 17 to eight Braves lead now. Sanderson finds number 33, that's Russell. He's gonna be fouled, so he'll go to the free throw stripe. Your hometown pizza in Iuka, 621 Battleground Drive, Virginia and James Smith, your owners, your pizza, pasta, cheese sticks, wings, and hoagies. Got your crustless pizza, the big 20 inch party pizza as well. They're open Saturday through Wednesday, three to nine, Thursday and Friday, 11 to nine, closed on Mondays, carry out only now at your hometown pizza in Iuka. Call them at 662-593-3036. Free throw, good. Tyreek Duckett checking in the ball game for the Braves. Adewamba gets it in. Wood passes it down to number 11. That's Waters. Waters to Shells. Now they'll work it left side. Back to the top of the key to Wood. Wood gets it to the corner. Tried to get it to Orr, lost it, and here comes the break. Now a foul on Etiwamba. Looks like going to be a long second period at the free throw line for the Braves. One more foul, Braves going to be in the double bonus. That free throw good.
Trey Mitchell with one more free throw coming for the Braves. Trey's free throw good as well. Tanner Miles checks out of the game. 24 will come in for the Braves. That's Spence Kaufman. Braves lead it 21 to 8. 6.20 to go here. Wood now got a foul on the floor against the Braves. We'll get Tyree Duckett, who just checked in the game a few moments ago with that foul. Shells on the inbound. A little fade away from the left side. Good. Six point of the ball game. Buns with a three. In and out, no good. Follow up under there, no good by Russell. And the Indians get the rebound. Prestige hands the ball to Shells. Comes over to number 11. That's Waters. Goes now to Wood. Wood hands it to Shells. Shells for the free throw line. Puts it up good off the glass by Shells. Twenty-one, twelve. Braves, five thirty-three to go now We're in the second period. Buns comes to the corner. Now they'll lose it. Turnover by the Braves. And now a charge. Good job under there by Buns. Got himself planted and drew the foul. Darrell Wilson talking to the official on that call as he came back down the floor. Bonds loses it, gets it back. Comes back across the way, now the top of the key. Bonds will take him a three. It's good off the glass. Braves now with a 12 point lead, 24 to 12. Pull up shot, no good. As Dunn couldn't get it to go. Bonds long pass down. They'll kick it back out, back across the way to Bonds. He'll try the three, good. Ninth point of the ball game for Connor Bonds. It's now 27 to 12. Ayuka Discount Drugs, pharmacy, drive-in window, medication synchronization for you. Chris Cornettison, Kurt Butler, and Lee Griffin. Bring you tonight's game, 423-9039. Shells driving the baseline. They're going to get Buns with a foul as he tried to drive the baseline. Connor cut him off and drew the foul. Shells at the free throw line to shoot a one and one as that's the seventh foul of the half against the Braves. Braves are in the double bonus, one and one bonus for the Indians. Free throw up and good by Deion Shells. Donald Ray Thomas, your constable of the south end of Tishomingo County bringing you tonight's game. Thanks you for your support. Next one by Shells on the way. And he hit both of those. 27-14. Braves with the lead. Shot up no good by Tyreek Duckett. Shells with the ball. Fred Awama passes it down. Pull-up shot from the left side, no good. Wood had it for a moment. Now, Indians maintain possession of the basketball. Shells going right side with it. Now back to the top of the key. Is it done? Done. Back, here's the shot all the way by Prestige, no good. Sanderson with the ball, gets it back to Buns. And they're gonna say 
that Bond stepped out of bounds. David Wayne Crum, your Tishomingo County tax assessor, bringing you tonight's game. Aiko Animal Clinic, Dr. James Perkins, Highway 25 South, healthcare, grooming, and boarding. Call them at 423-3470. They're open Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and Friday, 7 to 5, and Thursday, 7 to 1. Shot missed out of bounds. It'll go to the Braves as Wood couldn't come up with it for the Indians. Twenty-seven to fourteen, Tishomingo County with the lead. Sanderson right wing with it, comes back to the top of the key. Now number five with it, goes up. It is good. Tanner Moss getting the basket for the Braves. Peyton Cummings, your Tishomingo County Chantry Clerk. Bring you tonight's game, open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. Our desire is to serve you. Peyton Cummings thanks you for your support. Wood comes back out to five. That's done, done. And now they're going to get done with the charge. Booker back out to Sanderson. Sanderson back to Booker. Back across the way to Mitchell. Mitchell now, number five. That's Tanner Moss, no good in the lane. And the rebound went to number 12, Prestige. And Indians now with the ball. Three on the way. It's no good. So the Braves with a minute 22 and the basketball and a 29-14 lead here in the second period. Sanderson goes up with it, no good. Shells from the free throw line puts it up good. Booker comes to Bonds on the right wing. Down to 37 seconds. Goes to Moss. Back out to Mitchell. Now over to Bonds. Bonds goes up with it. Good. So with 19 seconds left, Shells. Pull up shot from the top of the key, won't go. Sanderson got the rebound. Passes it off to Moss, he'll put it up in the lane, no good. At a Wamba with the basketball as the second period comes to an end. That's the end of the first half. The Tishomingo County Braves 31 and the Etiwamba Indians 16. This is WRMG TV 12 and Television 97.
almost away from the start of the third period coming up as your Braves lead at 31-16 over the Etiwamba Indians. Northeast Mississippi Community College is moving forward with technology in the classroom and a health and fitness initiative with an Honors College and Student Success Center with a workforce training and a commitment to excellence in athletics and a four-day instructional week featuring online, short-term, and hybrid classes all at affordable cost. Take your next steps with Northeast Community College. Call them toll-free at 800-555-2154 or visit www.nemcc.edu. Gatlin's Pharmacy, Pharmacist Stanley Page in downtown Tishomingo. Your Health Mart Pharmacy on a broadcast tonight. Call them at 662-438-6605. Also MTS, formerly Mississippi Tool Supply Safety Apparel. Vest, T-shirts, safety glasses, earplugs, made and sold in Belmont. They do your custom signs and decals and banners as well. They've been in business for over 40 years. Go by and let them know what you need at MTS in Belmont, or you can call them toll-free at 800 647-8168. Well, the Braves will throw it in to start the third period of action. Tanner Moss tried to get it to Bonds, threw it away. Shells throws it up over the back of the backboard, out of bounds. It's going to go to the Braves. Sanderson now, he'll take a three from the top of the key. It won't go. Buns had the rebound, got pushed out of bounds. Braves will throw it in under the basket. Clybell gets it in to Buns. Got a whistle and a foul. Smith picking up the foul for Etiwamba. They're going to check Smith out. And they're going to check in number 12. That's going to be Prestige. Libel finds Moss, dishes it off to Buns. He's fouled. He'll go to the line. Two quick fouls by Etiwamba, and we're not even a, hardly a minute into the third period. Third foul of the ball game for Troop. Buns with another free throw on the way. It's good. 33-16 Braves now. Buns almost come up with a steal. Chandler Wood with a basketball. Goes right side to number 12. That's Prestige. Prestige. In the lane, going to be fouled on the floor by Tanner Moss. State Farm Insurance agent Boyce Hollingsworth bringing you tonight's game at 214 East Equipment in Iuka. Your auto, home, life, health, and retirement. Call Boyce Hollingsworth at 423-5931. Here's Wood with a three. Good. Chandler Wood getting his first points of the ball game for Etiwamba. 33-19 now. Buns puts it up, no good. Wood got the rebound for Etiwamba. Wood gonna go all the way with it, kick it out to Shells in the left corner. Now they'll come back out to Wood. Wood 
Gives it to Shells. Over to Prestige. Now they hand it off to Wood back out to number 10. That's Troop. Troop. Count the basket. And we're going to have a foul on the Braves. Justin Glabel picking up the foul. So our Vesta Troop looking to make a three-point play here. We're going to have Russell checking into the game for the Braves as they check Glybull out because that's his third foul of the ball game. Missed that free throw. Shot by the Braves, good. Number 20, Mitchell with a three, his fifth point of the ball game. A 36-21 Braves lead with 5.55 to go here in the third period. Jake Russell picking up the foul and under the basket. So Wood's going to throw it in over here at side court for Etiwamba. Shells on the inbound. Gets it back to Wood. Wood thought about it. Now he'll get it to number five. That's Dunn. Dunn in the lane. Puts the little floater up. No good. And the Braves. Buns. Gets it to Moss. There's a three on the way. In and out. No good by Mitchell. We got a whistle that a tie up under there. And they're going to call the jump. Possession arrow will go to Etiwamba. Well, 36-20 lead for Tishomingo County. 5-18 to go third period. Wood almost walked with a basketball. And now we got a turnover by Etiwamba. Buns pass across the way to Mitchell. Now they'll get it to Russell. Now loose to the floor. Buns tried to run it down before it got out of bounds. Shells on the inbound now for Etiwamba. Gets it to Wood. Wood. And back to number 10. His shot good. Troop. Braves with a 14-point lead here with 4.30 to go in the third. Buns tried to get it to Moss, threw it just a little bit too hard. He couldn't come up with it. Now here comes Etiwamba. All the way, lays it up good. Arvesta Troop. Sanderson from the left side, no good. Follow-up, no good by Sanderson. They're going to tie it up. Now, a question with the books. They're going to come over here to the scores table for just a moment, try to straighten something out. Something not right about the books, so they're going to, officials going to discuss something here. Coach uh, Darrell Wilson of Etiwamba over at the scorer's table. So 
So now that we got that settled, we can play basketball. Wood with the ball for Etiwamba. Brings it back to the top of the key. You got Shells over here on the left wing. You got Prestige over there on the right wing. Now number five, Dunn gets the block there. Kicks it back out to Troop. He'll kick it back out again. Prestige is going to be charged with a foul on the charge. B&J's Supermarket, Highway 365 South in Burnsville. They're open seven days a week. they got a fresh produce, also meat and dairy department for you. They accept Visa, MasterCard, EBT, and food stamps at your B&J Supermarket in Burnsville. Try to get it to Sanderson. Shells, a little spin move to the basket. Got it. Fourteen in the game for Shells. 36-27, Etiwamba battling back here. Bonds, long pass back over to Sanderson. He'll take the three, it won't go. Moss got the rebound, put it back up. Follow up, no good. And now we got a whistle. They're gonna get Troop with his fourth foul of the ball game, so they're gonna have to check him out of the game. For Etiwamba, and they're going to put back in Isaac Smith for the Indians. Here's Bonds with a three. It won't go. Moss fighting for that rebound now. The Braves had it. Now Bonds loose on the floor again. Now they're going to call the jump. And the possession error goes to the Braves. So Mitchell with the basketball working at right side. Pull up shot, but Mitchell on the way, it's no good. Wood got the rebound for Etiwamba. Comes over to Prestige, pull up by Prestige from the right side, won't go. And a good job by Isaac Smith getting the ball back for Etiwamba. Now here's a three on the way, won't go. Tanner Moss gets the rebound for the Braves. Two minutes, two minutes left here in the third period. It's a 36-27 Braves lead and the basketball for the Braves. Buds has got it top of the key. Nunley Trucking Company, Herman Darrell Nunley and the staff bring you tonight's game, 4240080. Moss, double team now, he gets it to Sanderson, loose on the floor, out of bounds. Who's it going to go to? Etiwamba. So Etiwamba will get the ball. So Mac Waman, your Tishomingo County corner, bring you tonight's game. Shells from the free throw line puts it up, won't go. Rebound. Went to Dunn. Prestige comes to the corner. Wood with a three. In and out, no good. Sanderson gets the rebound for the Braves. Sanderson loses it. It's going to go out of bounds. It'll go back to Etiwamba. Tyreek Duckett checking to the game. Sanderson will check out. So with one minute left here in the third period, Etiwamba with the basketball. And the lane puts it up, no good. Rebound, goes back up again, no good. And a foul on the Braves. So, Maya Dunn will go to the free throw line to shoot two for Etiwamba. Free 
free throw is no good. Next one by Dunn on the way. This one is good. Checking Mitchell out of the game. Got Dealworth into the game. Bonds comes back over to Dealworth. Back now they'll come to the corner to Bonds. He'll take the three. It won't go. Miles got the rebound, puts it up no good, and a rebound will go to Dunn of the Indians. Malls trying to get to it for one out of bounds. Couldn't get there in time. So Chandler Wood will throw it in now for Etiwama. Shells down to 15 seconds. Now come over to Prestige. Prestige back out to Wood, eight seconds. Got to make a move if you're going to shoot it. Comes back out to Shells. Two seconds. He'll take the long three. Missed it. And that's all of the third period as we move to the final eight minutes. And boys action. It's the Braves 36 out of one but 28. So Etiwamba down by eight as the fourth period begins here in just a moment. Ayuka Monument Company, highest quality to reasonable price. Next to Ayuka Discount Drugs, call them at 423-3203. Triple D's Bucket Service. For all your high reach needs, trimming or removing trees, debris removal, stump grinding, cleaning a steeple, all done in a professional manner. They're licensed, bonded, and insured. Call them at 662-279-7500 at Triple D's. Josh McNabb wants to thank everyone for the support you gave him in the election. He's your new circuit court clerk for Tishomingo County. Wishes all the county teams good luck. Lady Braves win it in the game opener here tonight over at Awamba Lady Indians, 66-30. Shells falls down, gets back up. Wood with the basketball now. Wood right down the lane. Comes back to Shells. Shells from the corner pulls up, takes the shot, won't go. Bunn's got the ball now. Throws it away. Not really for sure who he's throwing that one to. Nobody in the vicinity that time. So Etiwamba. Shells over to Wood. Wood. Here's a shot by Prestige. No good. Rebound. They kick it back out. Shells. He'll try him a three. It's good. Now they're going to say a two. So Etiwamba is battled back now and pull within six of the Braves. Liable on the right wing. And they tried to get it to Dealworth and they throw it away. Braves are going to call a timeout. So with 6.37 to go in the ball game, Etiwamba has battled back within six. Burnsville Tire, Ethan Marsh, your owner, 246 Highway 72 West in Burnsville. Call them at 427-308. Home of the free lifetime rotation with the purchase of four tires. Home of free mining and balancing with any purchase of any tire. 
get that home court advantage to do tires, wheels, alignments, exhaust, towing, road service, brakes, shocks, and more for you. Call Ethan Morris, 427-9308 at Burnsville Tire. Wood with the ball for the Indians, gets it to Shell. Shell drives it to the corner, fade away, no good. And the rebound goes to Glible. Glible gets it to Bonds. Comes over to Glible. Glible puts up the shot, no good, out of bounds. That's off the hands of Tyreek Duckett. It'll go over to Etiwamba. Wamba. Smith from the right wing comes back over to number 10. That's Troop. Troop comes to Shells. Now right down the lane, we're going to have a foul on the Braves. Buns picking up the foul for the Braves, his third. Both teams with five fouls in the half. Troop at the free throw line. It is no good. And her mall's checking back into the game as Glible will check out for the Braves. 5.44 left in this one. 36-30 Braves. One more free throw for Troop. It is on the way. It is good. He hit one out of two. And it won by now within five. Buns comes over to Sanderson. Sanderson, little move, goes to the basket. No good. Rebound by Smith. And the Braves can't get a basket right here right now. Braves with a five-point lead. Wood comes back out to Smith. Smith goes right side, goes to the corner. Here's the three, but Troop, he nailed it. They left Troop wide open over there in the right corner, and he nails the three. And it's a 36-34 Braves lead. Bonds loses it. Now get it to Dilworth. Dilworth in the lane, got it. Thirty-eight, thirty-four, Braves. Smith over to Troop. Now they'll get it to Don. Don goes up. It's good. Thirty-eight, thirty-six, with four twenty-two to go. Tiffin Motorhomes, Red Bay, Belmont, and Iuka bring you tonight's game. Goes to Dilworth. Dilworth loses it. Moss gets it back. They'll get it to Bonds. Bonds has it going to be fouled. I got Shells with that reach-in foul. <laughs> Deal worth Duckett check back out of the game. Mitchell to Glible. Glible goes to Sanderson. Sanderson missed it. They're going to call the jump as Sanderson and Troop tied up. Glibel will get it in to Buns. Kicks it back over. Now 
Moss goes up with it. It's no good. Troop got the rebound. Shells with the ball for Etiwamba. Shells. Gets it to Dunn. Dunn puts it up. One-hander, no good. Goes back up. Good. Smith. And we got a tie ball game with 3.25 to go. Etiwamba has battled back and tied this ball game up. And we're going to have a walk on Dilworth of the Braves. Wood with the basketball. Wood gets it to Shells. Shells comes back to the top to Troop. Comes back to Wood, left wing for Etiwamba. Hands it to Shells. Shells. And Sanderson reached in there and stole it away. Sanderson all the way with it. He's going to be fouled from behind. Count the basket. Smith will be charged with a foul. Sanderson will go to the free throw stripe, looking to make it a three-point play for Tishomingo County. Braves back up 40 to 38. Big free throw right here in this stretch at the end. Free throw is no good. And the rebound goes to Dunn. Troop kicks it to the corner. Wood with a three. No good. Sanderson got the rebound for the Braves. Lost it. Shells with the basket. And we're tied at 40. So a 2.17 to go. Sanderson goes to the basket, missed it. They're going to call the jump. Indians get the possession arrow. Two minutes to go, tied at 40. Shells over to Troop on the right wing for Etiwamba. Now he finds Wood at the top of the key. Wood backs it back out. He'll get the block by Smith. Now they'll come back to Troop. 1.45 to go. Troop has it. They're going to call the jump. And the possession arrow. We'll go to the Braves. We've got a timeout on the floor. With a minute 41 to go, Braves 40, Indians a Benawamba 40. Our World Parts to Supply, your Clark West dealer, 1102 West Quitman Street in Iuke, open Monday through Friday, 7 to 5, and on Saturdays, open for you from 7 to 12 noon. We'll buy and sell them for all your parts needs. Call them at 423-9892. Milligan Ready Mix, got your Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee stepping stones, gutter splash blocks. Best wishes to our Tishomingo County teams from Milligan Ready Mix, 423-6238. So with a minute 41 to go, we're all tied up at 40. The Braves will get the basketball. Glibel crosses the timeline, comes right side to Dilworth. Dilworth double team, comes back to Moss. Moss right side to Dilworth. Dilworth comes back out. Now work it over to Moss on the left wing. Moss goes to the corner to Sanderson. Now they'll go inside. And we got a foul on Etiwamba. Chandler Wood picking up the foul. So Buns at the free throw strike for the Braves. It is up. It is good. 
41-40 Braves. We got a minute 16 to go. His next one missed it. Sanderson got the rebound. He is fouled. Foul on the floor. Braves will throw it in under the basket. Now it's a one and one. So it'll be a one and one for Sanderson. Smith checking out Prestige in for Etiwamba. One and one for Sanderson. He eyes the basket. It is up. It is no good. Ball loose. It is out of bounds. It'll go to Etiwamba. Timeout Etiwamba. So 41-40 Braves, a minute four to go as Etiwamba calls the timeout. Hometown Pizza in Burnsville, Highway 72, the East Burnsville Shopping Plaza. Don't forget they got your lunch buffet from 11 to 1 for $8. Sunday buffet 11 to 2 for $9. They're open daily 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Buffet includes pizza, pasta, salad, and a drink. Nine enter carry out. Call them at 662-360-4019. So Etiwamba is going to throw it in. They're down by one. We got 104 to go. Wood with a basketball across the timeline. Shell's on the left wing over here. He'll come to the right side with a basketball. Shell's. Comes to Prestige. Prestige now to Wood. Wood. Goes over to Shells. Shells comes back to Troop. He'll put up the three. It won't go. Who's going to get the rebound? Shells got the rebound for Etiwamba. He'll go back to the basket with it. Puts it up. Good. Shells with a big basket. Puts Etiwamba up 42-41 with 25 seconds. Sanderson with the ball now for the Braves goes to the basket. They're going to call the blocking foul under there against Troop. And that may be his fifth foul of the ball game. And that is the case. Troop is fouled out for Etiwamba. Going to put Sanderson at the free throw line. Braves down by one with 22 seconds to go. They're going to check in number 22, Ben Orr, for Etiwamba. Sanderson, free throw up. It's good. And we're tied at 42. Games won and lost at the free throw stripe down the stretch. This is a big one. It's up. He got it. 43-42. Timeout, Etiwamba. So with 22 seconds to go, Etiwamba takes the timeout. They'll have the basketball. They're down by one to the Braves. Piggly Wiggly of Iuka, lowest prices, hometown friendly service, locations in Red Bay and Belmont. Also Grace Long Real Estate, explore liquidation on the broadcast. Mike Stockton, your president, Jada Pitts, your manager. All merchandise from name brand retailers take Say 50 to 75 percent daily. Take Highway 25 South to Dickinson Road across from Tiffin's Entrance in Belmont. H&R Block, Iuka, Red Bay, and Fulton. 
with Grace Long Real Estate. See Grace and the staff. They'll work hard for you. Let them help you sell your home, 423-5555. All right, 22 seconds to go. Etiwamba will have the basketball. Braves up by one, and Braves going to put some pressure on right here, I guarantee you, on the inbound. Dunn looking to get it in. Gets it in to Prestes. Prestes gets it to Orr. Orr up with it. He missed it. Orr missed it under there. Well, 14 seconds, Braves are going to be fouled by Etiwamba. Ben Orr had the wide open shot under there and missed it. So Sanderson with 12 seconds to go, and the Braves up by one as at the free throw line. He eyes the basket, he puts it up, it's good. 44-42. One more free throw, it's up, it's good. Etiwamba with 12.6 seconds takes another timeout. They're going to have to hit a three-point basket here to tie this one up. It's 12 seconds to go. Don't forget, it's Sid's Training Company. You can check out that Landmaster Utility Vehicle, the LM200, all the way up to that big LM700. Go out to Sid's. They also have your Bransons for you. They're red, rugged, and reliable, the 2480 horsepower units. They have the four-wheel diesel tractors, the 00 to 40 series for you as well at Sid's Trading Company, Highway 25 South at Iuka. Modern Woodman of America can help you plan for life from protection to saving to retirement. The member-owned fraternal financial service organization offers member benefits and local volunteer opportunities. Give Ronnie Cook a call at 423-8477. So with 12 seconds to go, Etiwamba's got to have a three to tie this one up. 45-42 Braves, Dunn will throw it in for Etiwamba. He'll get it in, the Braves, Moss got the steal, they're gonna foul Moss to stop the clock with nine seconds. Tanner Moss can hit these free throws right here. Ball size the basket, puts it up. It is no good. One more free throw for Moss. It is up. It is no good. Dunn's got it. Dunn's got to have a three. He kicks it to Prestige, and Moss comes up with it. And with 1.4 seconds, we got a whistle that'll stop the clock. Timeout Braves. Coach Darrell Wilson talking over with the official over there. Braves basketball with 1.4 seconds. Braves up by three. Braves gets it into Deal Worth, and that's going to be your ball game. The Braves win it over the Etiwamba Indians 45-42. The Lady Braves win it 66 to 30. Thank all of our sponsors who made her broadcast possible here tonight on WRMG TV 12 and TV Now 87. I'm Steve Bates for Scott Webster. Until next time, good evening to you and God bless you.